Weeks after it was established, the federal government's Paycheck Protection Program continues to frustrate struggling small businesses in this coronavirus crisis. Today, they share their headaches and roadblocks with CBS 2's Vince Girasoli. Business after stressed business in desperate need of promised federal loans. They're all feeling similar pains when applying at their banks. It was a little aggravating. James Bateman owns Gadabout Restaurant in Andersonville. It seemed like every single day that I logged on to the portal to get this done, it had a different list of requirements. It's horrible. Patty Markeski just wants to get money to the five stylists at her small family salon in Alsip. One day I spent uh, five and a half hours on the telephone. Then they finally accept an application to give an application. <laughs> Jeff Lamort, who owns three salons and employs nearly 130, was eventually completing a real bank application online. And then... It shut down and told me, sorry, we're no longer going to be accepting applications from your business. Uh, try another bank and don't call us because we don't have any answers. The federal government's Paycheck Protection Program earmarks $349 billion in low interest or forgivable loans for small businesses. Banks have been overwhelmed by loan requests and changing guidelines. Initially, I, I was very optimistic. Are you worried about them not coming through? I am. And rightly so. The program has already granted 1.3 million loans, totaling $296 billion as of today, and it's quickly approaching its limit. I went through a smaller bank and I was able to get through. But that's still no guarantee for Lamort and business owners like Bateman who continue to pay staff. I want to make sure that we're taking care of them. And a lot of that hinges on those still out of reach federal loans. I started as a dishwasher and I want to make sure that I'm paying my staff because I know what it's like to not be making any kind of income. And millions of Americans know that feeling now too. Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News.